Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Are you stuck in the house like me for the last few days due to coronavirus? Uh, with very little to do. Guess what? You can always read. You can always pray. You can always meditate. Get some deep thoughts within oneself. You know, find out who you really are. Um, as of lately, what I've been doing is I've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of research. I'm um, trying to keep occupied. And at this present time, what I decided to do is, like I thought about a few things about laughter. Laughter to me is good for the soul. So at this present time, what I want to do is, I want to take the time. I'm not a comedian, but I'm going to try to share a few jokes. Um, my first joke, I'm going to start off with this little boy. Um, years ago, I, used, I heard this story and I thought it was very, very funny. It was this little boy, it was on a Sunday. And one morning, his, you know, mom's pop woke him up. Hey, why don't you go to church? So the kid, like, I really don't want to go to church. So he said, look, here, I'll give you $5. Go to church. See what the pastor's talking about. So the kid snatched up the opportunity to make a quick $5. So what he did is he stopped at the local store. And what he did is he bought him a candy bar. And as he on his way to go into service, he thought about it, man. I can't eat this candy bar in church. So he looked around like, where can he put the candy bar, you know, for the time being? So he saw this little hiding spot. So he been down next to the hiding spot and hide his candy. And he went down his knees, prayed. He said, God, please, Lord, please, Lord, protect my candy bar. Please, Lord, please, Lord, got my candy bar for me. So after that, he went inside the church. As he got inside the church, he started listening to the pastor and the pastor started preaching and he went deep and he started saying, God is here. God is there. God is everywhere. The little boy jump up and say, you're a goddamn lie. God is outside minding my damn candy bar. I thought that was cute back then. Oh, my second joke that I'm going to tell for today is it was these three men. Um, black man, white man, Chinese man. And they all needed a room. So the white man went first. The white man was in this town and he needed a place to stay. So he went to this hotel. So he went down to the clerk and he said, look, man, I need a room to stay. The clerk told him, look, man, the room that I have is one left and it's very, very spooky. Nobody stay in that room. The white man said, look, man, I'm not afraid of no ghosts. So guy gave him the clerk, gave him the keys. Guy paid. He went to the room, went to sleep. Next thing you know, he started hearing the sound. When I get you, I'm going to eat you. He jump up. He look around. He didn't see anything. Okay, he lay back down. As he going back to sleep, he heard that sound again. When I get you, I'm going to eat you. He jump up again. Look around. He got out of bed. He went to the closet. Look in the closet. Nothing. He went in the bathroom. Look everywhere. Couldn't find anything. Next thing you know, he got back in bed, lay back down, and he heard it again. When I get you, I'm going to eat you. This time, he jumped up and ran out of the room. Next thing you have, a couple days later, Chinese man came to that same hotel. Went to the clerk. Hey, I'm new in town. I need somewhere to stay. And no rooms are available in the city. The guy said, look, man, I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody. I got one more room left. And it's very spooky. Nobody lasts in this room long. The man said, look, I'm not afraid of no ghost. He said, okay. Guy paid, went to his room. As he went to sleep, he started hearing that same sound. When I get you, I'm going to eat you. He jumped up. Got to his feet. Went to the bathroom. Look in the bathroom. Look in the closet, nothing. Got back to bed, start dozing off again. He heard that same exact sound. When I get you, I'm going to eat you. Jump up again. Man, look, look around, didn't see anything. He ran the heck out of that room, okay? Next thing you know, a day later, black man came along, brother. He went to the hotel clerk. Look, I heard you got the last room in town. I need a room. I'm tired. The guy said, look, man, I'm letting you know I only got one room left, and it's very, very spooky. Nobody lasts in that room long. The man said, look, 
I'm not afraid of no ghost. He said, okay, take it at your own risk. Guy paid, went up to his room. Went up to the room, went to sleep. You heard that sound. When I get you, I'm gonna eat you. He jump up, look around, got to the floor, look in the closet, look in the bathroom, look all around. He don't see anything. So he said, okay. Went back, lay back down. As he dozing off, he hear that same sound. When I get you, I'm gonna eat you. He jump up, look around, scared to death, didn't know what to do. Then he bend down, look under the bed, and he saw this little boy digging up his nose, talking about, when I get you, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> oh man, hey everybody listen, laughter is good for your soul. If you like me and don't really have nothing to do and you're bored, I got a few things that could keep you occupied. My few suggestions is, number one, my 2020 documentary on Vimeo.com, The Glaze, a five-star review. You know what I'm saying? Compelling story. I also got on Amazon Prime, Inside the Mamba Killer, the Brian Glaze Gibbs story on Amazon Prime. Also, what you can do is, I got Straight from the Street, Volume 1, Straight from the Street, Volume 2, my audiobook on audible.com or amazon.com, or itunes.com. Right now, Wiz, guess what? You can also go to www.beyondlucky.biz and order your copy of the Brian Glaze story, Beyond Lucky. For a signed copy of my story, the Brian Glaze Gibbs story, you can email me at briangibbs1201 at yahoo.com and order your copy today. And I'll send you a signed copy of the Brian Glaze Gift Story, a true story, a change of redemption. Also, follow me on Brian Glaze Gibbs on IG or Brian Glaze Gibbs at YouTube. Trust and pray that everybody stays safe, warm, on pray, stay positive. This storm will be over as fast as it came. One love.